The hypocrisy of evolution is amazing. It seems that whenever we make a video about evolution in which we use the words random, accidental, chance, or unpredictable, we get a barrage of comments and postings from evolutionists telling us how ignorant we are and how those words don't even come close to describing the purported process of evolution. We are told that if we knew anything about real evolution teaching, we would not use those non-applicable words. Well, Mr. Evolutionist, you simply can't have it both ways. We can easily expose your hypocrisy. We will refer you to some of the writings of a world-renowned evolutionary scientist, Douglas Fatuma. He is professor of evolutionary biology at the State University of New York at Stony Brook. He has been president of the Society for the Study of Evolution and the American Society of Naturalists. He was the editor of Evolution and Annual Review of Ecology and Systematics. In December 2004, Douglas Fatuma participated in an article interview titled Natural Selection, How Evolution Works in an actionbioscience.org original interview. Following are his words. The original article is linked to this video. None of his comments are taken out of context. You may review the entire article yourself. While he certainly is a strong proponent of evolution, and we are not attempting to represent otherwise, we will now point you to some interesting answers and word usage that he gave in this interview. Question number one. What is natural selection and how is it central to the theory of evolution? The sidebar to his answer in that article reads as follows. Natural selection is how species evolve by adapting to their environment. Natural selection explains design in nature. Dr. Fatuma's answer. Natural selection is the process by which species adapt to their environment. Natural selection leads to evolutionary change when individuals with certain characteristics have a greater survival or reproductive rate than other individuals in a population and pass on these inheritable genetic characteristics to their offspring. Well, this statement is scientifically and biblically accurate. And he is right, without knowing it, that this built-in genetic transference capability certainly does explain design as well as the common sense conclusion that a design has an intelligent designer by definition. Question number two. Is natural selection the only mechanism of evolution? Fatuma's answer. No, certainly not. There cannot be evolution without genetic variation in the first place. But once you have genetic variation, there are basically two major possibilities. First, there is simply no difference between the different genotypes or different genes in their impact on survival or reproduction. And in that case, you can have random changes of one versus the other type in a population or a species until eventually one replaces the other. That is an evolutionary change. It happens entirely by chance, by random fluctuations. Fatuma says, this is what we call the process of genetic drift. Question number three. The late Stephen Jay Gould has written that if we were to rewind the tape of evolutionary history and play it again, the results would not be the same. Fatuma. Well, it almost certainly would not be the same. I don't think anyone can say how different it would be, whether it would be along the same general lines or utterly unimaginably different. Of course, it wouldn't be the same because, first of all, random processes are involved in the evolutionary process. For example, the origin of new mutations. A lot of evolution is dependent upon particular mutational changes in genes that are very, very rare or unlikely. But that just happened at the right time, in the right species, in the right environment. But it need not happen that way so there is this unpredictability. Interesting. Listen to these words again. That just happened at the right time, in the right species, in the right environment, but it need not happen that way. So there's this unpredictability. In other words, the very definition of accidentally. Random, chance, accidentally just happening at the right time, place, environment, and just the right species, unpredictable. It seems these words are only forbidden to those of us who would dispute the teaching of evolution. They certainly are not forbidden to be used by evolutionists, however. It seems their hypocrisy knows no boundaries. <laughs>